Hi, in this video I will talk about object detection with YOLO version 3. YOLO version 3 is described in paper. YOLO version 3 An Incremental Improvement. Authors are Joseph Redmond and Ali Ferhadi. As the title of paper suggests, YOLO version 3 is the updated design over YOLO version 2. Similar to YOLO version 2, YOLO version 3 uses anchor boxes as period information to predict bounding boxes. Bounding box prediction This is the prediction vector for one box in YOLO version 3. For each predicted box, there are five parameters. Tx and Ty are used to compute box center offsets. Similar to YOLO version 2, YOLO version 3 predicts bounding box center coordinates relative to grid cell origin. Box center offsets are constrained between 0 and 1 using logistic function. Cx and Cy are coordinates of grid cell origin. If grid size is S by S, then Bx and By are in between 0 and S. Tw and Th are used to compute width and height of predicted box. Anchor box is shown with red and predicted box is shown with blue. YOLO version 3 does not predict width and height directly. It predicts relative to anchor boxes. This way, network learns detection more easily because it works with reference period boxes. Width and height of predicted box and anchor box are normalized by image width and height. TO is used to compute objectness or confidence score. Confidence is constrained between 0 and 1 using logistic function. Dimension clusters Anchor boxes have predefined sizes. These predefined sizes are computed using ground truth data. Number and dimensions of anchor boxes should be representative of the ground root boxes. K-means clustering is used to find anchor box dimensions. Number of anchor boxes K is set to 9 in reference paper for COCO dataset. Each cluster centroid holds the average dimensions of the boxes in that cluster. Intersection over union is used to measure closeness to cluster centroids. If intersection over union with a cluster centroid increases, distance to that cluster centroid decreases. So, distance is equal to 1 minus intersection over union.
While computing intersection over union in this case, location information is irrelevant because clustering is performed on box dimensions. Only width and height are used to compute intersection and union. This is an example anchor box for tall and thin objects. This one is for short and wide objects. And this one is for objects having aspect ratio close to 1. Box assignment. If center of an object is inside the grid cell, that cell is responsible for detecting the object. A bounding box is predicted for each anchor box of the responsible cell. During training of YOLO version 3, box assignment for detection is performed using intersection over union between anchor and ground root bounding boxes. Intersection over union between anchor box and ground root box is computed. If this anchor box has the highest intersection over union with ground root box, then it is assigned to detect the ground root object. Localization loss, confidence loss and classification loss are computed for this prediction. If this anchor box does not have the highest intersection over union, but intersection over union is greater than 0.5, then prediction related to this anchor box is ignored. No loss is calculated for this prediction. Otherwise, this anchor is not assigned for detection. Only confidence loss is computed for this prediction. Loss function. For each ground root bounding box, width, height, and center coordinates are known. But predicted values are in different format. So ground root values should be converted. These are the equations to compute box parameters using predicted values. And these are the equations to convert ground root box parameters. Squared errors are summed to compute localization loss for one predicted box. This is the loss related to box center offsets. And this is the loss related to box dimensions. Localization error is multiplied with loss scale parameter. Loss scale is equal to 2 minus GW times GH. GW and GH are ground root box dimensions normalized by image width and height. So, GW and GH are in between 0 and 1. As box gets smaller, loss scale approaches 2. As box gets larger, loss scale approaches 1. Loss scale amplifies localization loss more for small boxes. Because for a smaller box, a small change in localization error causes a larger change in intersection over union with ground root.
Also, binary cross entropy loss can be used for box center offsets. These are the loss components for X and Y offsets. And these are the binary cross entropy loss and its gradient for X offset. In YOLO version 3, objectness score is predicted using logistic regression. Logistic regression is a binary classification method. Ground truth confidence is 1 if anchor box is assigned for detection and 0 if anchor box is not assigned. Binary cross entropy error is used to compute confidence loss. And this is the confidence loss for one predicted box. Capital C is ground truth confidence. In YOLO version 3, class probabilities are predicted for each box. Different from YOLO version 2, softmax is not used. Instead, independent logistic classifiers are used to enable multi-label classification. So, each box may have more than one label. Binary cross entropy error is used to compute classification loss. And this is the classification loss for one predicted box. Capital N is the number of classes. P hat of C and P of C are ground truth and predicted probabilities for class C respectively. This is my interpretation for the loss function of YOLO version 3. First and second terms are localization loss. Third and fourth terms are confidence or objectness loss. Last term is classification loss. If a box is assigned for detection, all three losses are computed. If a box is not assigned for detection, only confidence loss is computed. And no loss is computed for ignored predictions. Grid size is S by S. And number of anchor boxes is B. Loss is computed for three detection scales in YOLO version 3. Each loss component is scaled with related lambda. Darknet 53 In reference paper, a classification model called Darknet 53 is proposed as the base of YOLO version 3. Darknet 53 is much deeper than Darknet 19. Darknet 19 is the base of YOLO version 2. Darknet 53 has residual blocks. One by one convolutions inside residual blocks are used to reduce channel size. 
After each convolution, batch normalization and leaky redo are applied. Predictions across scales. YOLO version 3 makes detection at three different scales. For COCO dataset, three anchor boxes are used at each scale, which makes a total of nine anchor boxes. COCO dataset has 80 classes, so prediction vector for a grid cell is 3 times 85, which is equal to 255. In order to create an object detector, average pooling layer and later layers are removed from Darknet 53. Four convolutional layers are added. If residual additions are also counted, there are 79 layers in this feature extractor. For three detection scales, feature maps from layers 36, 61 and 79 are used. This is feature extractor. Output of layer 79 is processed with three convolutional layers. Resulting tensor shows detections for large objects. If input image is 32M by 32M, output feature map size at this scale is M by M. For the second scale, output of layer 79 is processed with 1 by 1 convolutional layer. Then result is upsampled by 2 and is concatenated with the output of layer 61. After a series of convolutions, tensor showing medium sized detections is produced. Output feature map size at the scale is 2M by 2M. Proceeding similarly and using the output of layer 36 this time, tensor showing small size detections is produced. Output feature map size at this scale is 4M by 4M. Tensors from high and low layers are concatenated because upsampled feature maps bring more meaningful semantic information and earlier feature maps provide fine-grained information. YOLO version 3 has higher detection performance than YOLO version 2 due to multi-scale predictions and deeper feature extractor. And that's all for this video. See you next time.